Well, hey everyone, this is Kim at the Able Gardener. It's a beautiful fall day today, so I thought I'd get out in my garden and make a little list of different chores I need to do in my garden before winter really hits. So let me bring you a little closer and I'll show you what's going on in my garden for fall and what needs to be done. Now with many of my garden beds needing to be cleaned out still, I have gotten one completely stripped of any kind of vegetation and I've just revitalized the soil by adding organic matter. Now the main thing I've used in my garden bed just to fill it up a little bit more because the soil had gone down about four inches in this particular bed. I wanted to bring that level up plus add the organic matter. So I've added quite a few container fulls of compost for my compost pile. <clears throat> now the other things I've added are half a bag of worm castings and just almost a half a bag of peat moss. So that's going to add to the fertility of my soil. It's going to build it up and add that organic matter that the soil needs. Well, I've already started planting some of my seeds for my winter crop. I've got my chard in, my spinach, Chinese cabbage, early wonder beets, and my tat soy spinach. The only vegetable that I'm still harvesting this fall is my chayote squash. My chayote vine has grown about twice the size as it was last year. Now in fall or in winter, it dies all the way back down to the ground. All you have is a root left in the ground and then in springtime, probably around May or June, when the weather warms up, it starts growing out of that root. And let me back up. The chayote squash has really grown and it's just absolutely huge this year. Another part of my winter garden is going to be these sugar snap peas that I planted. They're just about anywhere from six to eight inches tall. I just need to put something in there for them to grow on. Now another thing I mentioned, I just need to clean out the rest of my garden beds. Uh, these spent tomatoes need to be cleaned out. They have green tomatoes on them, but there's no way they're going to ripen this year. So everything just needs to go. Get these beds cleaned out. Get them buffed up a little bit with some compost for next year, and then I'll be ready to go. Another thing that I needed to do for fall was break down my bee colonies into just two large boxes. Now I had probably about four boxes on each side and I just broke them down or my neighbor came over and helped me break them down to just the two large boxes and these are called supers. And what we did was we took them down to two supers. That way in the cold winter months when the bees cluster inside, they're just taking up the two boxes with their small swarm or their small cluster and that way they're keeping nice and warm for the winter months. They're not trying to fill up a whole four boxes. And the other thing we did was we harvested one of these supers with honey in it. Got a little over five gallons, so for my first honey harvest, I was really happy. Now the last thing I have on my list to do is make a map of my garden, just so I can put it in my garden diary. And I made a little map of all my garden boxes, wrote in what I planted in each box. That way, next year, if I don't want to plant say the same thing in each box. I'll rotate them around. This will give me a good idea or help me to remember what I had planted this year. And also make a few notes in my garden diary of different things I planted and if I want to plant them again. If I had a hard time with aphids or cutworms, what I did to eradicate that. Uh, just different items you can put in a garden diary of what you did the previous year and maybe you don't want to make those same mistakes the next year or maybe you want to do things the same as you did. So anyway, you guys, that's it for my garden update for fall 2016. I'll be talking to you later. Thanks for joining me, you guys. God bless. Bye-bye.